The top 10 snipers in NHL 15 start off with number 10, Daniel Sedin. He's a very good player, but he's a bit slow, but for the price tag of 10k, I'd say he's probably worth it on most teams, but he is pretty slow, but very good hands. He's got a pretty good shot, just not very fast. The number 9 spot is Jeff Carter on the Los Angeles Kings. This card is very, very good. He doesn't look like an amazing player. He's not the most talked about sniper in the NHL, but in terms of the NHL 15, he's a very, very good player. He's very fast and has an amazing shot, as well as very good puck control. The number 8 sniper is Patrick Marlowe. This card looks very, very good. I've only tried him once, and he was alright, but... He's definitely better than Sedin in my opinion, he's a very very fast player, but his shot definitely wasn't as good as I thought it would be, nor as good as it looks right here, but that's the number 8 sniper. The number 7 sniper is Jamie Bennett, 90 overall. He doesn't have a single stat above 89, but he's a 90, but he's a very very good player, definitely one of the best shots in the game. He's not as fast as he should be, but he's definitely a very very good sniper in NHL for 50,000 coins. The number 6 sniper is Taylor Hall, this card is unbelievably fast and he's a very good shot as well, but his price is a big leap from Jamie Benn, but in terms of what you're getting for your coins, I'd say Taylor Hall is definitely worth it, he's extremely fast. The number 5 sniper is Phil Kessel, sort of like Hall, I think Kessel has a better shot and better hands, but he's a bit slower, but both of these players are extremely fast. You're also saving 50, 60,000 coins if you get Kessel, so Kessel is definitely worth it, he's an amazing sniper in NHL 15. The number 4 sniper is John Tavares, this guy is, he's a mixed package, he's very good in terms of a complete player, but in terms of a sniper and speed, it's not the greatest. His shot is good, but most of the time it's very inaccurate, but he's not very fast, but he's definitely a complete player. The number 3 sniper is Corey Perry, 92 overall, 250,000 coins. Sort of like John Tavares, but he's a bit more physical, and I think his hands are a bit better, but they're both in the same pages. They're pretty slow. I think he might be a little bit faster than Tavares, but they're both complete snipers. The number two sniper, which could also be the number one sniper, but for me, I'm going to give him the number two, is Steven Stamkos. His shot is very, very good. He's got amazing hands. His speed's good, but at some times he doesn't feel as fast as he should feel, or as his 90 skating shows right here. The number one sniper is Alexander Ovechkin for me. I know people will say maybe Stamco should be, his stats look better in certain areas, but Ovechkin, he's very, very good. He's a complete sniper as well. He could hit, he could play defense. Some, In my opinion, in this game, he can really good. His poke checking is very good, but 90 skating, he feels much faster than Stamkos. In some areas, his shot's much better, and his hands are pretty similar. Maybe Stamkos is a tad bit better, but I think Ovechkin is better than Stamkos and is the best sniper in the game right now at 1 million coins. So you're going to be paying a lot for him, but... He is the best sniper in the game, in my opinion. This is a new series I'm bringing. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll probably bring a ton of other ones, but make sure you leave it in the comment section below what you want to see from the next top 10 or next top 5 or whatever. But if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like. It honestly means a lot, and I will see you guys later.